Factoring by grouping. If you ever have four terms, you don't do it in the same way that we did the other ones, but we group them, and it's exactly how it sounds. Now, we're going to group them by using parentheses, but you need to be careful in where you put these parentheses, because if you just put this like this, you've changed this value of it. And so, here's what I usually do. Because if you put it right here, that represents minus 9b and minus 8. And so what I usually do is, and I'll rewrite it here so we have it, a squared b minus 8a squared. And I suck the minus in with the 9. So I almost always have to take it out. And so you're welcome to change the sign if you want. But mistakes happen when we do that. So I just usually group it like that. And now we look for what they have in common here and what they have in common here. So they both have, both terms here have an a squared. Nothing in common with the numbers, 9 and 8. This is 3 and 3 and 2 and 2 and 2 or 2 and 4. So I'm going to pull out the a squared, the basic kind of factoring you did. There's the 9 is left and the b is left after you divide out a squared. Because remember, if we put it back in, we get 9a squared b. And the 8 is left, and we took out the a squared, we divided it out, so that's what's left. Now, this is very close to this. We want these two to match up so that we can factor that out again. I'm going to take out a minus 1, or take out a negative, whichever way you want to think about it, um, so that we get 9b positive minus 8. This now matches up. Essentially, we have one term, two terms, and what they have in common is that 9b minus 8. And so I'm going to pull the 9b at minus 8 out. What's left is a squared minus 1. a squared is left out of the first one, and minus 1 is left out of the second. Now, this is what we know so far. We are actually going to go the next step with this one. This is one of those special types of factors, and we haven't talked about it yet, but it factors. Anytime you have something squared minus something squared, it's the difference of squares. That factors into a plus 1, a minus 1. Because a squared minus a, positive a. Those a's cancel out, and then you just get the minus 1 if you multiply back out. So, be careful where you put that parenthesis. I suck the negative inside with it. So, suck the negative inside with it, and you get an x squared in common. We have a 5y left, because the x squared is gone, and we have a 7 left. So this one looks very similar. Take out a minus 1, you have a positive 7 minus 5y. Oh, sorry, don't take it out. Let's just rearrange our terms. My mistake! So, we have negative 7 plus 5y, so if we just rearrange that, positive 5y minus 7. Let's pull that 5y five five minus 7 out, because it's what they have in common. 5y minus 7. What's left after you pull it out of this one is x squared. And some people say, well, there's nothing left after I take it out. True, there's nothing left, but 5y minus 7 divided by this 5y minus 7 leaves a 1. There's always 1 left over if you take it all, because it's anything divided by itself. This one doesn't factor the same way that this one does, because it's something squared plus something squared. And so that is how we leave it. You guys try the next few on your own. Pause it. Pull out a 10. Pull out an a squared. 20 divided by 10 is 2 and the b is left. The 10 is gone, and the a squared is gone, so that leaves a 1. The second one, there's no b's in common, but they have a 3 in common, so that leaves 6 divided by 3 is 2, and leaves the b, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. So they have this 2b minus 1 in common, and it leaves 10a squared, plus 3. Remember, we're factoring out the 2b minus 1. Those have to be the same to be able to write them out in front.
we have a 2 in common between the 10 and the 2. We have an x squared, and that leaves a 5, and a y, minus 1. And again, 5y minus 1. We can't take anything out of that, and it matches, so we're good. Factor out 5y minus 1, and that leaves 2x squared. Plus, when you take it out of itself, anything divided by itself is 1. So don't forget that. And then that is factoring by grouping.